Hi, I'm Henry Tincup, and this is Vanilla Tincup, and we're back with another Children's Liturgy of the Word video. Today we're going to celebrate how we find life in Jesus Christ. He called himself the bread of life come down from heaven. The Gospel reading is from John 6:51 to 58 a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. May the Lord be in my mind, on my lips, and in my heart. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. If you eat this bread, you will live forever. The bread that I will give you is my flesh, which I give you so that the world may live. This started an angry argument among them. How can this man give us his flesh to eat, they asked. Jesus said to them, I am not telling you the truth. If you do not eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you will not have life in yourselves. Those who eat my flesh and drink my blood have eternal life, and I will raise to them life on the last day. For my flesh is the real food, and my blood is the real drink. Those who eat my flesh and drink my blood live in me, and I live in them. The living Father sent me, and because of him I live also. In the same way, whoever eats me will live because of me. This, then, is the bread that came down from heaven. It is not like the bread that your ancestors ate, but then died later. Those who eat this bread will live forever. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. When we think about bread, we think about the food that keeps us alive. One of the blessings we are thankful for is bread, and all the food and how God helps our bodies grow and stay healthy because of what it grows in creation, like a garden. The vegetables come from seeds. They develop and eventually give us food. God has given us many gifts, our lives, the food, our families, there's so much to be grateful for. However, many people around the world do not have enough. Some go hungry. What Jesus taught us is that it is important to feed the hungry. We can share. Do you remember seeing grocery carts at the entrances when you went into the St. Vincent de Paul Church? You and your family can bring food when you go to the mass and put it in the grocery carts. And we share. That shows that you are loving for your neighbors. Your neighbors. Even though there are people you do not know, Jesus taught us to love everyone. We show that by caring for the needs of others. Sharing helps us remember how God shares all of the creation with us. Sharing is a way that we show our thankfulness for all God's good gifts. God shows us that sharing brings new life. When we share, that means there is less for ourselves. This is called making a sacrifice. Christ shows us that a sacrifice brings new life. New life by sharing, and new life through sacrifice. As members of God's family, we are asked to care for one another. We are all one body in Jesus Christ. In the Our Father prayer, we pray, give us this day our daily bread. We are asking God to continue to provide what we need every day. Not just physical needs, but also spiritual needs. God created the world so that no one or no thing could lack what is needed for life. When we do what Jesus asks us, we help feed the hungry and are following the example of life-giving love. The bread of our life come down from heaven during Mass is the Eucharist, Holy Communion. Jesus is present. In God's love, he is present. In our sharing, he is present. God's gift of life is present. Before we go, let us play. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Generous God, you provide for our every need. You've given us the best gift of your Son. In the sacrament of the Eucharist, hear us as we pray. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Thank you guys for attending our Children's of the Liturgy of the Word. We hope that you enjoy the rest of your Sunday afternoon. And that's all for now. Bye. Bye.